Hello everyone, I'm back today with another video. Today we'll be playing with the machine gun. Um, he is 403 ELO and just over 500 games. Pretty even ratio. Uh, probably zero ties is actually correct based on the wins, losses, and ratio here. Um, so I've went ahead and gone with the setup that I usually use for 300, 400 players. Uh, I've been using this setup for quite a while. It usually works pretty well, so hopefully it works well in this game also. Alright, so he'll advance in the center then, and that'll be a captain. Alright, so I'll go ahead and let that be. I'll do that then. Okay. Alright, let me hit that. Okay, I figured that was just going to be a scout. Um... Yeah, I was going to say that might make him go down. I would have preferred to trade that, but we'll see if we can get a trade here or not. Right, okay. That works for me. Uh, that's alright, we each got a scout, and then that was it. Alright, I'll hit that with my colonel if he moves down with it. Yeah. Um, if that was the marshal, that would just be very unfortunate. Um... Let's just do that and see what he has. I'll hit this and see what we have here. Colonel. Okay. Alright. Uh, we'll see if he wants to trade with me. Alright, that'll work. Um, okay. Move that out. Okay. And that works also. Alright, let's bring a scout out. I want to bring out another major just in case. Uh, if he wants to trade with me, then I might need another one there to um, be able to um, back back it up. Uh, so he can't come in with, you know, let's say a sergeant and just get a bunch of info on me. So check that. That's a captain. Okay. Alright, so I figured he would probably trade. I'll move up with the major, see if I can get a captain off of him. Interesting. Okay. Let's do that. I'm going to kind of give off the impression that my uh, pieces, good pieces, are on this side. But he's being rather cautious so far. He's not really coming up with anything um, that's really that high powered. Hmm. So he's going to call that. Let's see what happens if I do that. Okay, that works. I will move up again, even though I'll probably die here. Oh, alright, that works. Um, a scout down here would be pretty annoying, but, you know, I might blind, blindly take this with my spy. It's in a probable marshal position. Ah, uh, okay. That's rather annoying. I figured that would actually probably be the marshal. I'd like to scout this, though. I think this could also be the marshal. Let's try this. Hmm. So looks like he's got pieces buried. He's not really coming out with anything much yet. But I'll take that with my captain, of course, and then I'll trade that. That's fine. Alright, so I'm up a captain, and I am up two lieutenants. But he has uh, good good bluffs there with his... Um... Hmm... I feel like that's a bluff. Hmm. Okay, well, that's just how it comes sometimes. Alright. Well, he's going to be up a major on me, uh, and then I'll be up a captain and a two lieutenants. So I'm not in bad shape, necessarily. Uh, and I can afford to lose one of those captains, also. I'll try to blitz him with my... Um, okay, that's good, because he'll have to trade one of them, and I can run away with the other. But we'll need to come up here with our gen. Okay, just a sergeant, but I'll take it, because now I'm not down a sergeant anymore. Uh, see if he trades. Okay, very good. So, what I'm going to want to do now is come up with a major. 
I don't want to be obvious about my colonel, but he had marshal here, general here. So rather standard positions. Um, but we traded colonels in the center earlier. I believe it came from here. So I'm not sure where the other colonel would be. I might expect over here, but over here somewhere would also be probable. So I'll have to watch out for that. If I had only hit that with my marshal, I would have a pretty hefty lead at this point, uh, just simply because I would be down. Or I would not be down the major. That's fine, you can scout that, I'm not worried about that. Um, I'm down some scouts, so I'd like to make up that deficit. But, um, yeah. I don't think that's his colonel. Okay. Because he's making way for this, I would think that this is most probably his colonel. Uh, and I can afford to lose a captain, so I'll probably advance with it. This is probably the spy, by the way. Um, so I'm going to move the lieutenant up and then the captain down and take this. Right. It does reveal my last um, scout, and then he will trade, but that's good because that negates this as a closed flag location. Uh, of course, we already know his gen here, his marshal was over there. Yeah, around here somewhere. So as soon as this lets me move my captain, which is unknown right now, by the way, um, I'd like to eat another scout of his if I can. Okay, I'll just leave that there. I'll probably use another scout. Right? That's fine. So I'm going to retreat with that. We're going to go over here. I think it's an appropriate time to come up with my kernel. I'll go ahead and run it on this right side. Or the left side, excuse me. Uh, his right, but I'll go ahead and put that here. All right, I'm going to try to bluff this as the colonel. You might believe it. Hmm, okay. Alright, that's fine. I'll go ahead and chase that back. Don't know any of his bombs, but I suspect this could be bombed off over here. I'd love to get maybe a major with my colonel. Let's see what he does if I do that. Hmm, that's a bit annoying. Okay, well, I'm going to want to trade now before he can trap anything. Okay, that works. Uh, let's go ahead and put our captain in the center. And we're going to want to um, move this lieutenant to the other side here. Let's see. This could be a captain. Okay, I think it is a captain then. I'll want to trade this perhaps. Very good. Okay. So this now is a whole lot easier to win. Um, because I have lieutenant advantage, all four of them, uh, and this is almost certainly his major. I, I don't think it's any other piece. Um, but that was very good that I could trade off that captain. That means that he wasn't able to take any of my lieutenants, because uh, he really couldn't afford to trade those captains. His strategy is to um, his strategy is to trap my lieutenants with his captain and with his major. But obviously he's not able to do that anymore. Okay. Interesting. Uh, yeah, if I was him, I would probably lotto over here, but he definitely did have to lotto. But that'll net me uh, an easy one at this point, um, because his major is gone. But that's just the situation where, you know, I can give up that major, and of course he'll disconnect. That's the situation where I can give up that major right, to his marshal, even, um, but I, if I'm able to trade off, then I just have so many pieces, 
Actually, him trading colonels in the center was bad for him. He should have come down and tried to trap my pieces with his colonel and major. Um, and him allowing my captain to get into position in the center, that was also bad for him. Uh, but I think trading captains over here was definitely the real end to the game, because at that point I have four pieces to his one major, uh, and he's completely forced to um, lotto, really, and of course he goes into the bomb. Uh, so looks like he disconnected, and then he surrenders, but uh, only one point, uh, but I'll take it, so I'll be at 894. Uh, anyway, solid win. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys in the next video.